Welcome back, let's dive right in. You can see I've replaced the default cube with some simple text. If I come to the object data properties for it, I've changed the alignment for both the horizontal and the vertical to center, added a small extrude and a light bevel. Now, the effect that I'm after is to have the text look at the camera no matter where the camera moves. To do that, very simply, grab your text object, come to object constraints, add in an object constraint and copy rotation. We're going to simply choose our camera. And then if I hit zero on the number pad, you can see this is what the camera sees. I'll select the camera, hit N, view, camera to view. And now no matter where I move my camera rotating through the scene or even shifting around, you can see the text will always be pointing at the camera. This is very useful for different transitions and it's something that I want to quickly share. The last thing in here is that if you change any of these factors, such as the influence, you can actually animate it. So if I want to right click insert keyframe, I could do that. I can also make it so certain axes are inverted so that I can actually rotate around the text in interesting ways. And that is essentially that. So I'll very quickly show the animation here. We'll just add in a keyframe. So zero for the influence, insert keyframe, jump ahead 72 frames for a three second animation, change the influence back up to one, and then very simply reset the timeline and play. And you can see that it will just rotate into view. Easy as that. Now, no matter where you go, the text will point. And so this is nice if you have presentations or some object in your scene that you're trying to pan about, but you want to label it and have that be readily available. Hopefully that was a useful quick tip. If this was at all helpful to you, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.